What is going on everyone? My name is Patrick and it has been a while since I made a video. So obviously if you've been paying attention, I've moved from Maryland to South Carolina and in that process, a lot of things have changed. Um, obviously this space that I'm recording in is completely different than what I've done in the past. This is my new, I guess, studio, spare bedroom, whatever you want to call it, office. Uh, at some point, maybe I'll do a walkthrough of it if there's interest. Otherwise, things are finally calming down. I'm finally able to have some spare time to myself. So what better time than now to start making videos again? In this video, I am going to walk you through my current color grading process in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's changed quite a bit over the last couple of years or even a couple months as Blackmagic has added or removed for changed features in DaVinci. So this is what I'm currently using. And I guess let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out a couple steps before I actually begin color grading by importing my media. So in this case, I've already brought the media into DaVinci Resolve right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I guess set my in and out points on this clip. This is gonna be my in point and this is gonna be my out point right here. And then I'll go into the edit tab. So edit tab right here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that clip and drag it in. So now I have that in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and switch to the inspector tab, and I'm going to change the retime and scaling so it goes to the full screen, or the scaling fit. And then I'll go ahead and go to the color tab. Now this is kind of assuming I've already done any other edits that I need to do in this, but for this scenario, this is how I'm gonna leave it. So switch to the color tab, and now we have this clip. So I'm gonna kinda of go over two different ways that I'll color grade a individual clip. And I have two clips in here for this. I have this one right here from a wedding I shot, and then I have this one of a shot of me. So the first shot right here, this is kinda of my lazy way of color grading. Where DaVinci Resolve, you normally use nodes to grade. In this case, I didn't use any nodes other than the one primary one, which is right here. For this one node, I went ahead and modified the color curve. I went ahead and dropped the offset a little bit. I went ahead and increased the saturation down here. I also went ahead and added sharpening in this and a couple other modifications to it. So when I go ahead and turn the node on, you can see the end result right here between before and after. I can go ahead and show you how I would do one of these, adding a second node, and with this one being S-Log2, it's going to be a little bit different, a little bit more involved. So first off, we're going to go ahead and drop the overall blacks, or the darks right here. Looking at the, uh, the scopes over here, we can see where they're hitting the bottom. And then again, increase the uh, highlights until they touch the top. And the biggest thing now is going to be to increase the saturation, since the S-Log clips are extremely desaturated. So let's just increase this to 75%. And now we can go ahead and do a couple other modifications to this. So let's increase the midtones a little bit, decrease these shadows or these highlights just a little bit, and then start pulling it a little tiny bit in other places. All right, and then we can go ahead and modify this further. So again, I want these greens to be just a little bit more saturated. I also want to change the hue of them just a little bit. So go to hue versus hue. Let's go to the green, and most of the greens fall within this area right here. So let's go ahead and drag this over. And let's go here, and then we can view, we can see where it's gonna put the greens. So up here is more red and purple. Just bring it down a little tiny bit, and that's gonna be more blues. So let's find out where the sweet spot is. It's more yellowish, reddish. All right, so down here is green, and then let's go ahead and increase the saturation there. So again, increase the saturations for all of the greens. There you go. And this is starting to get to a point where I would be somewhat happy with it. I still see some problems here where the correction right here that I just did, I'm not as happy with right now as to when I first set it. I would also like to increase the highlights a little bit where before the whites were super blown out up the top right here and that's just from up in this top corner 
they don't matter to me because they're not the subject. I'm going to be exposing to their skin color, their skin tone, because they're the subjects. So let me go ahead and bring these highlights down, so right about there, so I don't lose any detail in the veil right here. And then now I would go ahead and decrease the uh, midtones just a little tiny bit right there. And that's starting to get good where I like it. Now, like I said, this is my lazy color grade where I only use a single node. The way that I like to do it is going to be what I'm going to show you with this clip. And this clip even goes a step further because as you can see right here, I used a color card, which makes things much easier. But I don't start out with matching the color card. First thing I'm gonna do is, again, create a couple nodes. The first node, I'm gonna go ahead and handle this curve. So I'm gonna drop the blacks. I'm going to modify the curve a little bit. So I'm gonna bring up the midtones a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna bring down the highlights. So there, that's the first node I'm going to use. The second node is where I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this color card. So go ahead and switch this to the color chart and I'm going to switch to the color card right here. I'm going to go ahead and make this the right size. Zoom in a little bit so I can get a better match. I'm going to set the color temperature which was 7100. I'm going to match. All right and now the color is already a whole lot better than this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make any changes to my color correction that I need. So in this case, I'm gonna go back to the first one, turn off the color card. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it just a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new node after this, right here. And this is where I'm gonna start making some of my, I guess, more customized color corrections. So I see in the back, these trees aren't as saturated as I'd like them to be, but some of these other colors I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the hue versus saturation. Go ahead and select the green right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this green up. Now you can see right here, this is where the bulk of the green is. So I'm gonna slide this over just a little bit, increase the saturation right there. And I start to like how that looks. If I go to the end, I like that. So now I've gone ahead and I've modified the color curve. I've used the color card to match the colors. And then I've gone ahead and further modified the colors in this last one. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is add some sharpening. So I add some sharpening here. Switch from blur to sharpen. And I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of sharpening here. All right, and that's pretty much what I'll do for any individual clip. I can go in, I can go back, and I can watch this, see how the color is. I could even get a white balance from this if I wanted. In this case, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, and that's, for the most part, what I would do for a standard clip like this. And just like that, those are my two methods of color grading in DaVinci Resolve. If I'm doing more of a complicated project, I will use as many notes as I need. Otherwise, if I'm just doing a quick and dirty grade, I'll just use a single note. And other than that, there really isn't all that much to my color grades. So on that note, I will go ahead and end it here. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you didn't, well, don't really know why the hell you're watching. All right, see you guys later. Checker might check one, two, one, two, three, four.